Hello again, this is Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, digital whiteboards, but in this case, I'm actually talking about actual physical whiteboards. And when you're holding these up on Zoom, and you can see there's a couple of problems. One of them is my virtual background, which I have set up for privacy, has a hard time with my virtual whiteboard. And if you get even closer, it just completely blacks out the whiteboard. So I have to sort of put it on myself then it works pretty well. The other problem with physical whiteboards that you're going to have with Zoom is mirrored video. So I'm going to go into my video settings real quick here. I never have my mirrored video on, but there's this option here to mirror my video. Um, and this makes it really hard um, because if you're trying to, especially if you're trying to write, you're going to have a hard time because you're, the feedback to your brain is just really difficult. But the thing that's even more confusing is though this looks backwards for me, in my view, my students are seeing it the right way around, which makes it so that what the students see and what you see is just, you just look like you forgot how to write and they can't understand why you're having such a hard time. So I always keep mirroring my video off. Um, mirroring your video is really good if you don't like the way you look in photos and you only like the way you look in the mirror or if you want to adjust your hair and you want to, or you have something and you're like, oh, you, you, will, you will instinctively use the right the correct hand for that but if I'm motioning to something on the screen of a student I'm like this is on the right side of your screen and I use my right hand to point like this my students are actually seeing me point on the left side of their screen because it's not mirrored for them so mirroring your video is a dangerous setting to have on in fact I'm gonna turn it off right now um, and make sure that I uh, don't have it on because I don't like it but uh, it's something that some people have on so it's something that you should be aware of the other thing that you can do is if you're having trouble with your virtual background and you do have privacy concern of like your family in the background, what you can do is you can get it started to be held up, make sure you can peek around the side, then go to choose virtual background. And then I find that this takes a little while. Sometimes Zoom has a hard time opening up this setting sometimes. So, you know, maybe time it out in your lessons where you have time to wait for it to open. Um, but you can show this on your screen using a physical whiteboard by switching it to none while you have the whiteboard up and then you can switch it back to a, a virtual background before you move the whiteboard to maintain your privacy and then you can do and they, they, they can see those changes in your physical whiteboard even though you haven't closed the settings or hit apply or anything like that so you might want to make sure of that um, if you're trying to maintain sort of a virtual background for privacy reasons. 